Hey there, this is K4A. In today's video I will uh, try to explain layers basics in Autodesk Sketchbook. So uh, this will be very very fast introduction in terms of uh, layers because um, layers as topic they are really um, massive. They can, you can talk about those and show some tips and tricks uh, for very uh, uh, a long time or for um, there are lots of stuff to learn about them and uh, workflows and workarounds so uh, today I'm literally literally going to um, open close layers in terms of uh, Autodesk Sketchbook free versions and uh, show some basics on those how to use them or uh, where they are used in general so um, layers by default are not visible i think they should not be visible at least at my version of autodesk sketchbook which i'm using um, by default so uh, you are not going you're not going to be able to see them or be aware of them you will have to turn them on off and to see that panel that window with layers which we will do in second but uh, first of all, I'm starting with blank space in Autodesk Sketchbook free version. Zoom out if you need, move canvas if you need. Uh, my mouse, which is relatively new, is making problems already, or maybe it's because of this um, ground under it. Anyway, um, so uh, the whole idea with layers is that, um, as in uh, other graphic art, applications like Photoshop, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Krita, Inkspace uh, or whatever, um, they are made for you to work easily more, uh, with more, uh, uh, with faster workflow, with more uh, features and so on, so they are here to help you and uh, <clears throat> they are not, nowadays they are like um, every every application has them more or less. So, um, whole idea with layers is like uh, layers in real life. Uh, uh, so, layers are uh, like if you have a couple of layers of paper and you put them one on top of each other, uh, if they are transparent, if they are see-through, you can see what is below you. If they are not, uh, you are going to draw on the top layer only. So, let's see that in practice. Uh, I'm going to click on this button here which says layers to turn on or, or off the layers panel, the layers window which is here on my right. Now I hope you see it. So this button turns layers on or off. You can also I think find it here in window, yeah, layer editor, so it's called layer editor. I will sometimes call it layer window tab, panel, whatever. Um, so this layer editor, by default, you're not going to see it. As I just said, you have to click on this button here. And these buttons, all of those buttons here, we have covered most of those. Uh, we will cover um, soon all of them. And um, some of those brush palette, color editor and copic library which I will cover soon, I will uh, just cover them in short and then later in more details because uh, some of those can be really uh, powerful and tricky but they need times, time to explain. Anyway, so by default I see two layers here in my layer editor or layer window. I see one which says background and I see another which says layer 1. Uh, the whole idea with these two is uh, that you will have them always. It doesn't matter if you, for, for example, make new file, file new, zoom out, turn on the layers, so those two are still here. Why are they here? Because you, by default, uh, this uh, program, this application wants to mimic real-life sketching and so on, so it's uh, normal to have blank space uh, paper like white paper and uh, to draw on it. The first background 
is the background of your paper which is white and the layer one is the default layer which you draw on so uh, if i start drawing with my pencil brush or whatever you like to use and draw like anything like any kind of shape you will see now how my layer one changes here in my layer editor so when i release my i'm still holding my mouse when i release it check out the layer one it will change in a couple of seconds or split of seconds into um, uh, some kind of shape which mimics which uh, tries to show what I have on my screen so on my layer one I have some kind of I don't know uh, edgy shape uh, uh, some kind of spikes and I can turn it on or off with this eye icon so this will turn it on off and for example I want to hide it for some reason or stuff like that and this background works in same manner I can make this transparent if I need my background to be see-through like some PNG image or if it's white paper I will leave it white I can also if I have more than one layer I can also drag this click on this edge and drag to make this layer editor longer so I can see better and move it left and right wherever you want so this is uh, great at least for me and I like those small details and uh, customization of Autodesk sketchbook which is uh, really a time saver when you uh, start making your own workflows anyway I will just explain one more uh, thing or uh, feature and all of those details later in later videos but uh, what do we need here uh, to explain uh, the the whole idea of layers is we have to add new layers so this is like layer one that is the first layer the first paper on which we are drawing and for example I need to draw something on top of it so I will have to add more paper and I will do that by clicking on this plus sign which says add layer and you can do that also the shortcut control L <clears throat> so click on it and you see now we have layer 2 and now you can pick in which layer you want to draw by clicking on it so if I want to draw on layer 1 <clears throat> I just click on layer 1 in my layer editor window this one and I can continue drawing these spikes or for example if I want to draw on top of it I can just click on layer 2 and draw for example some kind of I don't know circular shapes and again maybe I don't need those so I just turn them off uh, so this is the first feature of layers uh, how and why you can use it use it uh, and it's the same principle of whichever application you use Photoshop Illustrator Krita whatever uh, layers one of the features is to use them is to turn on or off drawings on your illustration so sometimes you will uh, need sometimes you will not need some parts of your illustrations for example if you work at some uh, game development studio or for some client and he says okay uh, the whole drawings looks good more or less but I don't uh, want my character to have those uh, funny details on his sword can you turn them off uh, delete them please so if you uh, have worked in layers all you have to do is just turn off the layer and say okay is, is now it's without those details so I can hide them and I can hide them all of them in seconds so I don't have to delete them one by one with my eraser brush here no I just turn them off but you have to think about it before you start drawing so you have to draw uh, intelligently like okay uh, what do I have to draw and how does it make sense for me to draw it so you can turn off some stuff you need like for example some other client says okay I, I like this circular 
shape details i don't like these spikes so turn them off please yes okay simple as that uh, the other feature is that uh, now because we have layers uh, we can now move our shapes which are on that layer and that way improve and add more uh, uh, fun to our and more quality to our illustration or reduce if we have too much so for example uh, if my client says okay I like those circular shapes I like those uh, spike shapes but I want them uh, overlapping uh, you draw them one above each other or below uh, each other I don't want them I want them intersected I want them uh, one going through another like intersecting each other can you do that you say okay I draw that those shapes in layers so it's simple as this I will uh, first pick this layer one and I want to move first canvas a little bit more so I press space bar that is like pressing this magnifying glass but I am pressing the space bar because I have used the, that workflow a little bit here okay so after that I am selecting my layer one here and I'm pressing V keyboard button which is same as this quick transform tool and pressing this entire layer move or scale or whatever you want but again because I'm used to pressing keyboard shortcuts I will press V and look at now at my spike shapes I will move the whole layer and because I have drawn them only on my layer only that shape they will move wherever I want so my client says okay make it more at the center okay that's it make it more like this it, it's more it's uh, too much under the some crazy angle I want it horizontal okay simple as this it's now me changing my layer okay I want it bigger yeah okay so I'm working on my layer and all of those shapes so they can be now some mountains or fire or whatever and he said okay I want those two shapes intersecting okay I will now select layer two again I want to intersect them so I will just move them here so now those could be some clouds or whatever or I can select I think both of those at the same time and move them now this is canvas and this is yeah uh, you can select more than one layer with holding shift and that's it uh, this was already 13 minutes so that's more than enough and too much for uh, these basics um, of layers but uh, these are very very important and you can use them as I have just shown you to turn on or off details of your drawing or to move them scale them all at once so you just have to think about your drawing your illustration before you start and then make as many layers as you need just don't go crazy like making 1000 or uh, 500 layers or I don't know but uh, more or less uh, it's about practice and your experience and your personal workflow uh, you will find the, the real balance and the real measure the more you create the more you draw uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now